Well, hello everybody. How are you tonight? Welcome and thanks for joining me. I'm Karen with the Noble Willow and a couple nights ago, and I apologize, my dog thinks he's talking to him. Uh, a couple nights ago, I started on this china cabinet. And excuse me one second, Wiener. So I'm going to start again, and I'll tell you from the beginning, let's see here. Okay, there's one person on. If you would say hello. I don't know if I'm live. I think I am. It says I am, but I'm not seeing myself on the computer. Everybody, I can bring this down just a tad. Hello, hi guys, thanks for joining me. All right, now I see a few of you popping on. That's good. I am not seeing my messages yet, so I'm just going to start from here. Hopefully, you guys can say hello. If you would, just leave me a comment. Let me see if I can. No, nothing's on. All right. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to explain what I did. Um, two nights ago when I started this, I had cleaned it and I had put one coat of crinoline on. And then I noticed some bleed through coming through after after the fact so I think when I left you guys I had applied all the crackle around the whole piece and that was great I let that all dry but then the next day when I got up the whole thing I just wasn't happy with the whole thing it had um, it had a lot of tannins coming through which were they're just dark spots they're dark it's called bleed through in the paint world and it's just when the tannins in the wood come seeping through the paint and we don't want that especially on a white on a white piece so what I did yesterday was repainted the whole thing I first off sprayed it I sprayed it with three coats of this shellac and I let that dry and you let it dry and it feels tacky, you know, that's when you know that it need, you know, that it's, you can spray another coat on. But then once you spray another coat on, before you paint, you have to let it sit at least an hour. So it's been sitting for a whole day. So I caught myself up and reapplied the crackle because it just crack all it did was crackle my shellac then I didn't want it to do that so um, I kind of cheated a little bit say hello you guys I can't see any comments I don't know if it's something I'm doing um, I also have you over here on my computer and I am just not seeing anything so hold on here Oh, there you go. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so I'm live, so I should be able to see comments now. So I'm not going to get to questions tonight. I will, or during the live anyway, I will answer any questions afterwards because this is going to be a lot of work. It's going to be messy. It's going to be dirty. I should probably have a snorkel on and some goggles. Um, it's going to be a mess, but it's going to be a fun mess. So I have a tarp down on the bottom. It's plastic so that I'm not going to ruin my floor, but I'm going to be spraying off a lot of paint. Uh, it's not wasting because it's getting the cool effect that I'm looking for. Um, so 
I started with a base coat of Crinlin. It's a DIY uh, Debbie by Debbie's Design Diary paint. It's a chalk, well, it's not really chalk, it's actually clay-based. It's really heavy pigment, pigmented, so you can add a lot of water to it, you can thin it down, and it goes a really long way. This piece has, well, the front has four coats. The sides each have two coats, and that it I used up just one jar of just one eight one eight ounce jar. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Let me see. Okay, I'm still not seeing comments. Click for more. Um, that's okay. So. Um, but like I said, I'll answer any questions later once we're finished with this. I'm only going to go about 45 minutes tonight. So if somebody on here wants to give me the thumbs up and tell me how I'm doing as far as time goes, I would love that. I don't have my camera girl Hannah with me tonight, so I'm on my own. So I'm just going from uh, my Facebook tonight. And I'm sorry, my husband just got home from work, so I've got the dog barking. Okay, I'm going to quit talking. I'm going to get to work. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to, okay, so I also said I was going to use black and I was going to use a lot of grays. Well, I kind of changed my mind up a little bit. I'm starting at the top, so I'm going in with some kissing booth and I'm really going to get crazy with this and I lost my brush. So this is just a Wooster. All my brushes are over there, uh, and this is the closest I had within reach. Um, I normally use Paint Pixie. I'm also a Paint Pixie retailer. Okay, I'm going really lightly. This is all full of crackle. So the main thing with crackle is to not brush once I apply the paint. It's going to activate the crackle immediately. I can't, you know, that means I can't go back and forth over it. Now, if you see me do it, doing it, I'm doing it, I have a certain amount of time. I know how much time that is um, and when to stop. So if I do it, I'm using, I'm using really light pressure. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to dab that a little bit. And I'm not going over the whole thing. And this is Kissing Booth. This is a really bright fuchsia. One of my favorite, favorite colors. And then I'm also going in with, I'm also going in with Queen Bee. And I'm using the same brush. Probably shouldn't be double dipping, but I am. And I'm just hitting. You're not going to see a lot of this once I'm finished. Okay. That's enough of that. Now I'm going in. So hopefully you guys are all doing well. Just going a little heavier right there. working really fast I also need this to I also need it to dry so I do have a fan going on behind me and, I'm just go in here with some. and again I'm not 
I'm not going over and over and over. So I'm using Kissing Booth. And like I said, when I'm all finished with this, you're not going to see much of this color. And I really wasn't expecting to use this much, but I'm loving it. So now I'm going to go in. So this is the salt and vinegar finish. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen, if you saw the beginning. Um, but I saw this technique done uh, uh, several weeks ago by, uh, I think it's Malia Klein. She's with Market Tree, oh, excuse me, Mustard Tree Market. And I absolutely loved it, but I've even tweaked that a little bit. I'm not doing it exactly like her, but I am using the salt and vinegar like she used. So I'm just going there. And there's really no reason why I'm doing the colors the way I am. I just think they're pretty. We all like pretty. So that's kind of a neat color. Mix in the kissing booth and the cowboy, cow, excuse me, cowgirl coral. Kind of gives it a, um, ex excuse me, I'm gonna say that all over again. Mixing the queen bee, which is yellow, with this awesome kissing booth, which is fuchsia almost makes a coral color and you guys i'm sorry you can't see me very well because i'm going down the piece so thanks for watching you guys so i'm just going to continue down now i can't go back i wish i could give you a close-up and i really can't this area right there is crackling absolutely beautifully, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So once it starts crackling, I absolutely cannot, uh, I cannot go back over it until it's dry. So now I'm taking my cowgirl coral and I don't know how far, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull you guys down really far so you can see the bottom. So I'm gonna be out of the picture, which is okay. So again, all right, I'm getting low on colors. squirt a little water in here and hopefully this will go a little further. So I just gave it about four squirts. So I was explaining the vinegar and the salt. It causes some type of chemical reaction. I am not a chemist and so I don't know why it does what it does, but I absolutely love the way it breaks the paint down. It gives it that weathered look like it's been sitting outside, that it's got layers and layers of old paint that's just worn away over the years. It's absolutely the coolest finish, in my opinion. Everybody's got their own style and opinion about things and I'm just really passionate about old world weathered looks okay <clears throat> I'm gonna go in with a little I've got to find my yellow I just set it down there it is okay all right so I'm not gonna be able to get the questions 
going to take too much coordination, I think, for me to read and paint at the same time. And I'm going to go with some kissing booth here. And again, you're not going to see much of this by the time I'm all finished. You're not going to see most of this. But I just think it's cool because I know it's there. Okay. So this is already starting to crackle. So I can't mess around with that anymore. And it's looking good. All right, so I'm gonna go down to the very bottom now. I'm gonna work on this drawer before I do any more up top. Because when I get finished with this, the whole thing is going to run down the whole piece. So it's an absolute mess, but that's all right. So here, I believe I used a lot of this is a lot of my queen bee, and I'm just gonna scoot right over here. Well, maybe I might just get onto the floor. It might, unless my chair can take me down far enough. Okay, I'd like to appreciate you guys stopping in. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you're learning something. So my colors, I'll read those off quick again that I'm using. I started with crinoline, which is a creamy, which is just a really pretty creamy color. And then I went in with some Queen Bee, which is this beautiful yellow that I'm putting on. And I'm just putting it on in random spots. There's really no rhyme or reason why I'm doing it. Now I'm going in with some cowgirl coral. And I don't want to I don't want to disturb what I've already painted over here. But I'm also going to need to get the fan Can you see that over there? Okay, there's a big old. Okay, maybe I'll do some kissing booth down there. Now the key to this At this point is to let this dry we still have a lot to do tonight let's see here <laughs> yes I'm um, about the cans I'm dipping back and forth but I'm there's no contamination only because well and this I'm kind of pouring on to my brush and and this I was pouring on to my brush I was just dipping into my yellow and so far so good I don't recommend it it's kind of like uh, you uh, you double dip at your at your own at your own risk. Occasionally, I'll I'll get a big glop of something in there, and then I'll just spoon it out. Okay. So I'm done with 
my colors. So while this is drying, this has to dry before I can go on to the next step. And hopefully I have enough paint. Hopefully I have enough paint uh, for the next step. We will find out. Yeah, I have about, I probably have about a half a jar of my gravel road. So this is just a really nice light gray. And I will show you what I'm gonna do next. The next part, I'm not gonna be reading, and uh, for you guys that just popped on, I'm not gonna be answering any questions or reading any comments until afterwards because this next process gets really messy. I'm gonna be, oh, sorry, I'm not even talking into the right camera. Um, this next, um, this next process, is it process, is really messy and and it's just kind of interesting. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to explain what I'm gonna do. I'm also going to, you can see, you can kind of see right here where it's still dark. Man, it's cracking so pretty. And this is, oh, you can't see up there. Um, it's just cracking all over. So the next step I'm gonna do requires it to be dry. And I'm gonna lift you guys up Now I'm gonna put a barrier for the, the majority of it is dry. So I'm going to put this in a bag. Let's see here. I'm gonna put this in a bag. So my brush doesn't dry off, uh, dry up. And then I'm going to take this wax brush Hopefully, you guys can see. Hi, my brother. Let me get an opener. So, I'm going to put a barrier between this color and all this whole thing, all the crackling and everything, and then the next step that I'm going to do, I'm going to wax it. I'm just gonna put in, I'm gonna go in with a thin layer of Debbie's Design Diary Clear Wax. And I'm going to work very quickly. Now, as I was thinking about how I wanted this to look and the colors that I did not want to run off, I was thinking how I could do that and and um, I'm a huge fan of Debbie, or excuse me, well Debbie's Design Diary, she makes the paint, but also uh, Quita Allen with All Shaft Out and Dion Woods with Turquoise Iris. They're on all the time painting with, with DIY paint. And so just over, over the last several months, I've picked up several little tips that they've done and incorporated that hopefully into my own original look. The salt waxing that on I'm gonna paint right over it and again if you're just coming on feel free to leave any comments hello time to leave comments uh, I'm just not going to be able to read them and answer them during this next step then my mom if you're still watching or my brother would you guys tell me when when it's about well, 6.45, I have about, I'm gonna stay on about 45 minutes, so hopefully I can get moving on this pretty quickly. I really want you guys to see this next, this next process. So 
So I'm going to push you down. Okay. So just make sure this is all covered. So you guys, if you like this kind of thing, if you love learning and watching, there's just some great, great furniture artists out there. They have unique, they have unique styles and they bring their own originality with them. Okay. So I've got that whole thing covered. And now for this next part, I am going in with my gravel road. And I'm gonna work quickly on this. So I think I'm going to dump this into a A little container okay I'm gonna start at the top I'm sorry to keep moving you guys yes Elizabeth the best wax ever I totally agree boy I don't know if you guys can see you really can't see the camera's not picking it up but there is some awesome awesome crackling going on all right so I really really Put this lid on nice and tight earlier so I usually just give it a couple good taps on the on the concrete floor okay hopefully this is gonna be enough again I'm just gonna water it down some <laughs> thanks Inga Well, hopefully we can get to the good part tonight. From what I understand, if you go longer than 45 minutes, the video will get buried. Facebook will bury it. And it's kind of like sitting around watching paint dry too. But All right, so I got that. Really good. Okay. So now I'm going to work fast because. And I'm literally just going straight over everything I just did. With this braid. working putting just a thin coat on it doesn't have to be real thick when I'm finished with this I'm going to go in with some black You guys, I may just need to go longer. I may just need to stay on until this thing is done. If you guys need to 
go. I certainly understand. Now I'm covering up a lot of the crackle, but you're still going to, you're going to know it's there when this is all finished. You're going to see it underneath. Okay, so I can see. Okay, that's good. Now I'm coming over to this side. I'm gonna go down a little bit. Sorry, you guys. I'm covering this whole thing. Everything I just painted, I'm covering with gravel road. And the other thing, I'm not sure if I even have enough salt to finish this whole thing. Hi, Laura, welcome. Okay. I may. I did this a few nights ago on a piece with some other colors and I absolutely just loved the way it turned out. I was so excited to do it on this piece. However, I'm not sure this is actually the type of piece to do this on because it's such a it's kind of a delicate, pretty little girly piece. And I'm doing a major grunge weathered look on it. So if it just doesn't fit the piece, if it doesn't do it justice, I'll always paint over it. Okay, I haven't added the salt and vinegar yet. That's going to be one of the last steps I do tonight. Hopefully, we're gonna, we're gonna get to that if I can work faster. And I'm gonna put you down on the bottom drawer just covering covering with this and I'm just putting a really light color a really light um, coat of this gravel road on And you guys will see why in a little bit. We're almost there. This will be interesting. I did, I tested a little side earlier on the side just to see if what I was going to try to do was e even going to work. And it absolutely did. However, doing it on this size might be a bit tricky. And if it doesn't work, well, there's always tomorrow. Hopefully I haven't wasted your time. But now, um, a lot of this is just having the courage to step out and try something new. If it bombs, you still, you still learn something, which is kind of cool. Okay. So that covered it all. So I'm gonna put the cap on my gray. So there you have it, looking pretty odd. Now for the next step. This is where it gets good. 
<clears throat> okay, I'm just going to set that over here. Okay, I'm going to raise you back up, you guys. All right. I'm confused. What did white the covered it with the other colors now gravel road yes i can't wait Woo! i can't wait either okay so i've got all my colors on there um the last coat that i put on was the gravel road i'm actually going to turn my fan on a little bit for some reason it stopped i must have hit the cord oh i did and plug the cord All right, I need a raincoat on right now because this part's going to get messy. It's going to get dirty. I'm going to get wet, but we're going to have fun. Okay, so I see a big drip. I'm going to get that out of the dark. Okay, you guys all on the edge of your seat? I am. Okay. So this is okay. I'm turning my fan off now because I actually don't want this to dry a lot. This next color is DIY little black dress, and I just had this in a bag. Just had it in a bag. Now I'm going all over the whole thing. I'm working quickly. Can you see up here? Okay, good. I'll post the I found the picture last night of the actual pot I was telling you guys about there was this weathered I believe it was either concrete or uh, ceramic I'm not sure what the material it was made of but it was all weathered and it was and I saw it and I was like oh I want to be able to recreate that finish so I think I finally came up with one. So I'm going fast. I want to get this color. I don't want it to dry a lot. So I'm just going to dip that. Okay, I'm going to push it down again. Hi, Andrea. So nice to see you on here. I've missed this. I don't know what I've been doing. I haven't been painting, that's for sure. Okay. I'm not going to do the lower drawer just yet. I'm... I'm going to work on just the part I have covered. So again, this next part, I'll explain it quickly, is uh, in my squirt bottle. Whoop. Okay, in my squirt bottle, okay, so I just lied. I am going to do the bottom. Oh, nice, Elizabeth. Hey, Sayla. Okay, so I'm gonna just go across the bottom very quickly. And I've got, I need to get more paint.
Now, this is going to be, if you're looking for something really, really beautiful, this is not going to be your, this is not going to be the technique you're going to want to use. If you want weathered and grungy and old, then this just might be the ticket. I was thinking a little quicker on my feet I might have even thrown some uh, golden ticket in a squirt bottle and tried just throwing some of that on just to give it a little bit of a sparkle okay so that's completely covered as you can see I didn't go 100% coverage um, so the next step I am going to do, this is where it's going to get fun, messy. So you guys just be praying for me. Okay, I'm starting up at the top. And like I said, this was, this was something, this was a technique that I saw um, Malaya Klein with Mustard Tree Market. Uh, she did... Um, she did an old cabinet. It was just fantastic. So I incorporated her technique. I added wax. I added crackle. I've done a little bit other, a um, few other things. So 50-50, okay? This is 50% vinegar, 50% water. That's it, nothing else. And I'm going to just liberally squirt it. And like I said, I am not a chemist. I have no idea why, why it reacts the way it does. So I'm just dousing the whole thing, every square inch of it. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, I'm taking my salt. This is just plain old sea salt, fine. It's fine. So only problem is, I don't have a lot of it. So, you dump some out in your hand, and literally, oh, literally you just toss it in areas. It gets all over the floor and it makes a mess. And most of it ends on the floor. But where it sticks, it creates a really cool look. So I'm going to do that over the whole thing. You can't see it. I will take close-ups and then I'm going to run in, I'm going to actually even have to run into the other room and get my salt shaker because I am out and I don't think this, I have this stuff but it's really thick, it's really coarse is the proper terminology and I think this will just bounce right off of it. Um, maybe not. We'll just see. We can give it a shout. What do you guys think? Laura, you think it's nuts, huh? Oh, it's staying on there. Can you see that, you guys? Maybe I don't need to. And again, I don't know what it is about this chemical reaction. sweep the floor when I'm done. Oh, <laughs> Laura. <laughs> I'm your hero if this thing works out. Okay, so that's pretty dry down there, so I'm going to have to squirt that again. Um, 
And now bring it in a little closer. Okay, so I've covered the whole thing with salt. It might not be, I don't know, can you see that? I can't, well, yeah, you can see it. That's all salt on there. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the lid on my paint. Well, if anything, I've had fun entertaining myself and hopefully a few of you guys have enjoyed it. Um, okay, I'm gonna go all the way up. I'm gonna bring you in. So buckle your seats. Okay, let's see if I turn this down. Whoops. Let's see. I just want you guys to be able to see what it's doing. So the next thing I'm gonna do Okay, so I got this box of white rags. And you would think like Kleenex, it would just pull out continuously, but it doesn't. So these are very important. I'm going to, this is my water. This is my water. I'm going to just work on this area right here, okay? I want it to drip. And this is where, okay, I need a better squirter than that. Here. Na, na, na. How are we doing on time? Can you guys see what it's doing? This is just water, yes. And I'm going, it's, it's heavier than, heavier than my mister. So now, this is the important part. I'm just going to dab a little bit. And I'm giving it a little twist and hopefully, like right here, Okay, try not to stand in front. So really, can you see how old and grungy this is looking? going over the whole thing. I don't want it to dry until I've been able to get to it. Okay. <laughs> the magic is happening. I hope so. <laughs> So I have quite a bit of puddle on the ground below me, but I'm actually okay with that. So this is it. This is
Now I'm going to get some new rags. And I'm just going to continue doing that down the whole piece. And so whatever, whatever colors that you put underneath that you start with are going to be the ones that kind of peek through. And I'm just struggling getting my, my paper towels out. I'm just going to tear open this box. There we go. Okay. Now, so I'm going to just keep, keep doing this. I'm going to work on this section right here. What did the salt do? Hmm. The salt just kind of pushed the paint away a little bit. Um, something with the... Something with the vinegar combination and the salt just gives it a really interesting texture when it's all finished. Um, see, woo! When it's all finished, I'll do a really light sanding over it because there's still quite a bit of salt on it. Nine. The biggest key is not to let it dry. Keep it, keeping it nice and wet. And then you can press, you can press as hard as you want um, and get as much, you know, take as much off because this, this white down here is actually the base coat. I don't want a lot of that showing, but I do want some of it showing. Okay. So, do you guys want to keep watching? I'm going to finish this up tonight. I'm going to just keep working on this. I can do the reveal, I can post the picture when I'm finished, or I can just stay live. It's up to you guys. Yes, you want to keep watching, Maddie? <laughs> okay, you got it. So we're going to, I'm going to take you down. There you go. And I'm just working right down here now. Getting it good and wet. And it, this, you can hear the salt still dropping. To tell you the truth, I'm not even sure what the salt really does, but it just makes me feel good knowing that I'm getting a cool result that I want. Okay, do you guys have a good angle? Let's see. Doesn't look like it. Bye, Dito. Love you. Okay. That's my sister, Christy. Okay, so how many of you guys think you'll actually try this? Hey, Malia! I hope you guys can see a good, a good view. It is certainly grungy, and it looks like it's a couple hundred years old. So now I'm just squirting with plain water, and I'm just dabbing with 
paper towel. And then once this is all dry, I'll go back and I'll sand it. Just enough to get just the remaining sand, or excuse me, not sand, but salt that stuck to it. My hands are gonna be a mess. So this is just plain water that I'm using right now. I've already done the, I've already used. the vinegar. All right, you guys are so fun. Thanks, Malia, you shared. Okay, um, so I'm loving the colors that you can see underneath. And I'm working in this section right here. And really the key is not to let this stuff dry. I can already tell I you can tell when you when you squirt it you can kind of see you can see the black paint moving around Places I might just stay darker. Okay. Okay, Ernie, you guys gonna give this a try? I would love for you to share. if this is something you think you'll do. And if you do, post a picture. Okay. So I started, it's best to start at the top because all of this water is running down. If you start at the bottom, then you're gonna have all the top stuff running off. And of course, I figured that out the hard way. You're welcome. All right. Okay, you guys, I think that's pretty good. And again, if you have any questions, I'm not, I can't read them all, so I'm, if I've missed something, you guys, I apologize. I will go back. Okay, I'm going to work on this side now. Oh, I'm going to take you up just a tad, because this side is pretty dry. Can you see, you can't even see it, okay. There, okay. So again, this is just pure water running down. I have a tarp on the floor. Got my flippers on. change up my rag. Once it gets so saturated, it just won't take anything else off. And I'm just dabbing it where I want it to come off. Now, when I'm finished here, I'll go in, I'll pull my drawers out, and I'll just dry it all because it's not good. It's just not good for your furniture. To have what you know have it saturated with water and have water just sitting on it so when I'm finished here I'll I'll do all of that but you can kind of see some of the 
some of the crackle underneath all of it, even though there is a wax barrier. The wax barrier was so fresh that I'm sure I've pulled some of that off even. Okay, so I thought possibly that I might do the inside on the live, but I'm not even seeing how that's gonna be possible. I don't have a good angle. Um, okay. So I'm just gonna keep working with this until I, <laughs> until it's to where I want it and uh, You guys, I'll be on, I'll just stay on for a couple more minutes if you guys have any questions that you want to ask me. Um, it turned out, I'm pretty excited about the way it turned out. And I'll certainly get it, um, I'll get it staged and photographed for you. But that's about it. That's my grungy weathered look on my beautiful antique china cabinet i sure appreciate y'all stopping in and watching and thank you for all your comments and your loves and your hearts i so appreciate you guys um that's it if you okay so the again i'll just recap the paints that i used really quick um for this i used the crinoline and kissing booth i used queen bee which is a yellow I used Gravel Road, I used Cowgirl Coral, and I think that's all of them. No, the black one's Little Black Dress, so then I covered the whole thing um, with Little Black Dress, sprayed it with my vinegar water, and that's it. So, guys, have an awesome Friday, have a beautiful weekend, and thanks for watching. Bye.